Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Slimmer Shay here and I am back with another video. So for today's video, I will be showing you guys how I maintain my passion twist. This is officially the end of week three. I'm going into week four of my passion twist. And I just wanna show you guys how I maintain them and make them look fresh again. Cause right now, it's looking, it's looking a little worn out. And so we are gonna show you how to revitalize your twist. So if you're interested in this video, please keep on watching. Now this technique can work for a lot of different types of protective styles, whether that may be um, faux locks, braids, or any other kind of twist. But so the main thing to making your style look fresh is gonna be your baby hairs, AKA your edges. And so right now, as you can see, they're looking a little afro-y and we need to lay them down. For my edges, I'm gonna use an oldie but goodie and this is the Aunt Jackie's Tame My Edges. And I like this because it adds some sheen to your edges and I just take my edge brush and dip into it like this. And then I go in and swoop my baby hairs. So step one, we already looking better. Step one is to get your baby hairs in order. So now that we have our edges kind of laid down, um, we do want to tie this down, but we're just going to tie everything down at the end. So if you need to touch up your edges after we finish, you know, revitalizing the rest of the hair, we can do that. Um, but the next step is going to be to moisturize your roots. And one of my favorite hair oils is the Aunt Jackie's Frizz Rebel. And this is their coconut and sweet almond oil. This oil has penetrating anti-poof formula that smooths and shines dry, rebellious hair. So basically that means it's gonna give me a little bit of shine, you know, cause it's, it's looking a little dry. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just run this in between my parts. And you can do this all over your head, really um, like a little oil treatment. And I'm just doing this in between the parts and rubbing that in. And then what you can do is just massage that oil into your head and into your scalp. And y'all, when I tell you this feels so good right now, you can even heat it up and do almost like a little mini hot oil treatment before you um, put it on your scalp. So our scalp is nice. Getting some life given back into it. And then for the lengths of the hair, which if you have on any rings that might snag the hair, you wanna take that off um, while you're styling your hair because it can create unnecessary frizz. But for the length of the hair, because it still looks good, twists are still pretty much popping, um, but it doesn't have that sheen like it initially did. And for that, I like to take the Aunt Jackie's Soft All Over Oil. And this is actually a multi-purpose oil that you can use for, you know, hair, skin, all of that. But I just rub it between my hands like that and then take it down the shaft of the twist. And that's just gonna add some sheen back to the hair. You can also do this to the ends. So 
so for additional sheen, I take the Shine Boss, and this is a refreshing sheen mist. And I just spray this all over my head, especially the top. So again, just spraying that and raking that down too. So as you can see, our twists have come to life. They got some sheen, they got a little luster going on. And we're just rubbing that all the way down. And then if you happen to have any like this, that have like a little piece of hair, literally this is like the only one I've seen so far that has like a piece of your hair sticking out. All you have to do, you could take some of that Tame My Edges Edge Control and then just put it on your finger and twist your hair back in. So now that we have our hair all moisturized and shining, um, the next thing is to style your hair. Um, so to avoid extreme product buildup, because you know you're gonna have some just when you're refreshing your protective style, you want to only do this in the area that is necessary for it to be done. So basically, if I wanted to wear my hair in the middle part like this, then I would take some edge control and kind of brush down right here to make my part look defined. So I wanna kind of play around and figure out, you know, which side of my baby hairs are extremely popping. And I think I'm gonna go with this side. And then I'm gonna choose like how deep I want my part. And so I could do a side part like this, or my personal favorite is only leaving one row of twist on this side and flipping everything else over. And when you flip everything over, each twist will kind of should lay like in between another twist so it's flat. And if you have any problems like keeping the twist over, you can bobby pin it to hold it down. And so I'm just gonna keep this hair on the side because that's how I want it. We're gonna touch up the baby hairs really quick. And when you do this, you don't necessarily have to add any more product because you're just, you know, touching up what you've already done. So then what you wanna do, like I said, is you'll take some more of the Tame My Edges and you'll just kind of brush down in between this part. So you're like cleaning up that part so it looks nice and defined, like you freshly got your twist done. And we're also gonna brush up on this side. And the last thing before we like lay all of this down is going to be some setting mousse and we're going to use the aunt jackie's frizz patrol and this has been my go-to for polishing my twists so i literally just start plopping it on my head and then just kind of raking it in the direction and this helps um any flyaways you may have kind of lay down with the twist. So we're just doing that all over top of the head. And then we also want to do a little bit over here to lay that down. And while it's still like foamy, you want to go ahead and take your head scarf and shout out to Aunt Jackie's for this scarf and for sponsoring this video. And we're just going to tie it down nice and tight and so from here you could go ahead and start doing your makeup you know getting dressed and all of that in the morning um and then when you're ready to leave out the door you just take your scarf off um i'm gonna go ahead and touch up a few more any twists i might see that have any hair kind of sticking out like i said we're gonna just twist this with a little bit of edge gel tame my edges and we're gonna twist it into the hair and just kind of touch it up like that. 
So now we're just gonna wait it out for about 15 minutes since my makeup is already done. And I'll come back and show you guys the final results. Trinity, Trinity, yeah. Trinity, Trinity, I hear you calling. Trinity, Trinity, I hear you calling. I accept this invitation. I accept this invitation. To dance, to dance with my father. All right, y'all, so it's been about 15 minutes and a few Snapchat stories later, but let's check out what we looking like. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love keeping this behind my ear to give it a nice little, I don't know, that's just my flair with these passion swings. But we are looking good, okay? Our twists look nice and fresh. Yes. Yes, our twists look nice and fresh. All the way down. Minus a little bit of paint in my hair. I have been painting, but um, yes. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video. And I'm totally surprised. I definitely did not think this hairstyle was gonna last this long, but with a little bit of Aunt Jake's curls and coils, you know, we got it together, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. If you watched this far, you might as well go ahead and subscribe. Join the gym squad. The gym squad is basically a family, a community where we just uplift people with positivity and make sure we're encouraging everyone to love their authentic self without regrets, okay? Um, so make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you like this video. If you are interested in more protective styles, more information on passion twists, make sure you comment below. I also respond to pretty much every comment, so make sure you go ahead and comment below. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. I love you guys so much. I can't wait till the next video. I love y'all and never forget, at the end of the day, without regrets, love yourself and be you to fall. Bye guys.